Welcome to the Echographics video tutorial. This session will focus on the use of the highly efficient signal screen. The signal screen displays icons that provide detailed information regarding each runner. Green signals are positive aspects, yellow signals highlight notable information, and red signals are warning signs. The more green signals a horse has, the more likely the horse is going to run a good race. Yellow signals provide valuable information and red signals are items to be cautious about. Mousing over a symbol in the header or a row on the signals page will bring up a text box describing the signal. A tap on a touchscreen device on a symbol in a row will also work. Mousing over a horse's name or using a tap on a touchscreen device will bring up the name of the trainer and jockey and provide a handy link to add a note about the horse that will then be displayed on the note screen. Let's review the different categories of signals and what each symbol represents. The positive ratings and form category has five possible symbols with the four most common shown here. The top bubble capper horse is, is the horse that has the highest projected equiway speed figure in the bubble capper. This is a strong positive sign and these horses are always a threat to win the race. The upward arrow signifies positive form and marks a horse in good condition. It is especially positive if not many others in the race have this designation. The thumbs up signal is one longtime Trackmaster customers are very familiar with. It signifies that the horse has the top Trackmaster power rating, which combines class, speed, and pace into a single number. The stopwatch is the good workout signal that results from a horse having a recent five furlong bullet workout. A strong 5 furlong workout has been shown to be a sign of positive conditioning. Make a note of this signal when a horse has the positive signal of being a lone front runner, as we discussed in the bubble capper tutorial. The fifth signal, which doesn't appear very often, is the 4 star signal. This signal is reserved for a horse that charts on top on power, speed, class, and pace ratings. These horses tend to be strong favorites. The next set of positive signals fall under the profiles category. There are six possible symbols in this category, with the five most common viewed here. The lone front runner signal is symbolized by a lightning bolt with a check mark. As we discussed in detail in the bubble capper tutorial, a horse that may get an easy lead is always dangerous as a possibility to lead from gate to wire. Look for the positive signals of a good workout, a bomber, or a long shot as additional positive signs. Also, the yellow signal showing a blinker change can be significant as well in combination with the lone front runner. A blinker change, whether on or off, can be a wake-up call in this case. The partner signal symbolized by a handshake is a sign when a horse and jockey or a horse and trainer have had a successful record together. The bomber signal signifies a horse that has been able to win at big odds in the past and has an overall positive return on investment if betting every time out. Take a second look at these types if they figure to be a price and have some other positive signs. The dollar sign symbolizes the long shot signal. This means that the horse has positive long shot angles as determined by Trackmaster algorithms. The horse for course signal is a tried and true angle through the years. It is reserved for a horse that has had a strong record on today's surface at today's track. The final signal from the profile category is one that you don't see too often. It is the blue chip signal. This is assigned to a horse that has a strong winning percentage and a strong overall return on investment if one had bet on the horse for every race of his career. This is a sign of a top, tough, consistent animal. The last group of positive signals fall under the players category. These are signals that highlight positive signs regarding a horse's trainer, jockey, sire, or dam. There are eight possible signals in this category, with the seven most common shown here. The top trainer signal symbolizes the trainer that has the highest percentage on the player graph screen. The ins and outs of the player graph screen will be covered in detail in an upcoming tutorial. The top jockey signal symbolizes the jockey that has the highest percentage on the player graph screen. The top sire signal symbolizes a sire that has the highest percentage on the player graph screen. 
The top dam signal symbolizes the dam that has the highest percentage on the player's graph screen. All four of the positive signals tied to the player's graphs are significant since they give you a unique view that is different from the way the general public perceives these players. The positive trainer signal shows that the trainer has a high winning percentage at today's distance and surface. The positive jockey signal signifies a jockey that has a high winning percentage at today's distance and surface. The pawn signal signifies a hot jockey and trainer combination. At times, a hot jockey-trainer combo can have success with almost any horse that goes out on the track. The final signal in the player's category is a rare one. It is the grass pedigree signal, which only occurs when a horse is trying the turf for the first or second time and the sire's offspring have had success on the grass. Notification signals are always in yellow and fall into the two categories of run style or notices. The four symbols for run style are shown here. The lightning bolt is the symbol for a front runner, a horse that is typically on or near the early lead. The fox is the symbol for a stalker, a horse that is typically sitting a few lengths off of the leader at the start of a race. The horse trailer signifies a trailer, a horse that is typically far back at the start of a race. The question mark is a symbol for an unknown running style. This is usually a horse that is a first time starter, a horse that hasn't raced in North America before. There are five yellow symbols that fall into the notices category. The four most common are displayed here. The yellow triangle is the symbol marking a troubled last race. The horse had trouble in his last race and doesn't normally get into trouble. It lets you know that you can throw out the last race if it was a poor showing. The first time starter signal is a quick visual that lets you know that the horse has never raced before. The symbol of a horse wearing blinkers signifies an equipment change. The horse is either putting blinkers on or taking blinkers off. Many times a trainer will make this change to try and wake up a horse. The calendar with the 60 on it is the symbol for a long layoff. This is assigned to a horse that hasn't raced in over 60 days. Just letting you know that this horse hasn't raced in a while. The final signal in the notices category is one that is fairly rare. It is the signal of a foreign horse. The symbol is a map of North America with a red do not symbol on top. The horse has raced mainly outside of the U.S. and Canada recently. The last group of signals are the warning signals which appear in red. These are alerts that mark aspects to watch out for regarding a horse, trainer, or jockey. The five possible signals are displayed here. The downward arrow symbol signifies poor form. The horse does not appear to be in top condition. The horse has a form factor less than one in the bubble capper. The red triangle signifies a trouble-prone horse. This is a horse that has had trouble in a high percentage of recent races. The bouquet of flowers is a symbol for a bridesmaid horse. This is a horse that likes to finish second and third. Be especially leery of these horses if they have run second or third many times when they are the favorite. The low win percent trainer signal is a sign when the trainer has a low winning percentage at today's distance and surface. The low win percent jockey signal is a sign when the jockey has a low winning percentage at today's distance and surface. Once you use Equigraphics a few times, you will quickly come to recognize all of the different symbols. Even if you forget, you can always just mouse over a symbol to be reminded of what it represents. The signal screen is a significant time saver and will help you on your way to becoming a successful handicapper. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. See you next time.